Hi Jim. I've decided to take uh, my wheels off my scimitar and show you the Salisbury axle um, as best as I can. The, it, uh, the scimitar is um, a 3 litre V6 uh, sports car from the 60s to 80s I would say and uh, this is the SE5A. We've got here, uh, it's built on a very heavy chassis and that's quite good because it holds the Salisbury axle quite straight. Um, I'll show you some features of the Salisbury axle as I go round. So, Salisbury axle is has links, swing links, top and bottom, both sides. Um, here we have a drum brake on the back and um, we have discs on the front of this car. Um, we have a um, coil spring and um, a dampener on either side linking to the back of the Salisbury axle. We've got coming to the centre we've got what's known as a Watts linkage and this is the linkage that keeps the car straight or should I say it keeps the axle straight on the car. So as you can see it's all attached through poly bushing to uh, very strong components on the chassis as you can see running through so that keeps it in line there and then coming down you can see the dampener sitting at the back going back up to another part of the chassis so nothing's held onto the bodywork obviously and then the two swing arms either side, as I say, going off to chassis members again. So therefore, it's held in one, two, three, four either side, one, two for the Watts linkage, and one, two fitments at the top here. And that is your Salisbury axle. A very nice pixel. It is too.